Well, it's time for the next round of What the Hell's Wrong with Frida. I went to a new cardiologist, and he's ordered a whole slew of tests, and I will keep you kind of updated on what all of those are. But the first one is wearing a two-week um, Holter monitor. The brand of it is Zio or Zio. I'm not sure which. And it came with all sorts of instructions. And I also watched a video. So it's got a little template so you can figure out what the prep area is. Keep the arrow up. And it's supposed to be a finger width below your collarbone. I'm fat, so my collarbone doesn't stick out. So it should be like right here. Pardon my boobs. Um, so we have to abrade this tissue. So that's what I'm going to do next. So step one, and this is fun, is to shave it. I don't know about you. I've never shaved my boob before. So far, not a fan. Kind of itchy. I mean, maybe it's in there just for the guys, but you never know if, like, peach fuzz could be a problem. So, just in case. Next step, this is literally sandpaper. They literally want you to sandpaper your chest. 40 strokes up, 40 strokes across, and then 40 strokes diagonal, and then diagonal the other way. This will take a minute. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. That doesn't feel great. It says apply pressure. I did not apply very much pressure. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's very unpleasant. Next step is wipe with alcohol and let dry. And they include a few alcohol pads. Oh my god, that stings. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that stinks. Who would have thought? Sandpaper and then alcohol. It's going to sting. <sighs> Let dry for one minute. Then we get into application of the actual cardiac monitor unit. I'll be back with that. So the actual unit itself is not very big. Look, it says, stop, did you abrade? <laughs> Very important to sand your boob. Um, so we take off the adhesive. And then I'm going to make sure that the arrow is straight up and down. And that it is that finger below the collarbone. And then you press and hold for two minutes. Okay, so I looked back over the manual and I may have over abraded because it says 20 times this away and 20 times that away. So it says 40 broad strokes across the entire prep area. 20 on the diagonals and 20 on the vertical and horizontal. So it should have only been 10 strokes in each direction. I didn't 40, no wonder it hurt. I'm glad I didn't push harder. So, this is why you should always read the directions twice. ADHD not helping me out. Okay, so I pressed for two minutes, so then we have to peel off the, the top bit. And then push it for another two minutes. Alexa, set timer two minutes. Okay. It does say to rub the adhesive when you're holding on. I'm guessing heat helps to activate it. Um, so it says press and release the button in the center of the patch. The patch will turn flash a green. So click. Flashing green. Good. Once the flash is stopped, the Zio patch will begin recording your heartbeat. And then next we... We'll start keeping the log book. Where did I put the log book? There it is. Little log book. So basically what happens is if I have a symptom like um, light, 
lightheadedness or shortness of breath or chest pain, I push the button and then I have to write down what the symptom is, what was happening at the time um, that might be contributing. Um, so it looks like this. I press the button on this date at this time um, because I felt, and it gives you a choice of sensations and um, the duration and what you were doing at the time. Um, this is not my first heart monitor of this type. I have had several of them over the years, at least, at least three or four. Um, but it has been a couple of years and um, I have been having chest pain runs lately. The doctor um, prescribed me Nitrobid, which is nitroglycerin gel, which I tried for the first time last week and it was not great. <laughs> um, I got a headache and um, that's pretty common, but also my oxygen saturation went down um, to a, an unfavorable level. So I did discontinue it. So we're going to try it again with like maybe half of that dose. Um, Nitrobid gel is really weird because the dose is like in inches. You know, you're, you get prescribed like a half an inch or a quarter inch. So um, finding the amount that's effective without um, negative side effects. I mean, that's that's the name of the game with any medication, but it's a little little weirder when it's just kind of like squirting toothpaste onto your chest and praying for the best, right? Um, so I will wear this for two weeks, which is why it was so important that it get a really good um, adhesion to the skin. I will probably cover it with plastic and like tape around it when I take a shower um, just for a little extra security. Um, and that'll give us an idea of if the symptoms that I'm experiencing are cardiac in nature. So that's what's going on. Um, I also hacked all my hair off because it was growing out a perm. So that's a thing that happened. It's quarantine. Hair is going to be bad. It's fine. Um, so that's what's going on. And I will keep you posted on whatever the next step is going to be.